Okay, so uh, we looked at in the previous video what happens or, or how we rotate images when the center of rotation is at the origin. And it was a very simple formula. We had uh, we had one kind of an algorithm that we could apply uh, when we're talking about 90 degrees, one when we can, we're talking about 180, and one when we're talking about 270, and we knew how to rotate each of those using those algorithms. Okay, so the question in this video is, what happens if the center of rotation is anywhere else except the origin? Okay, so the way that we're going to handle those is we're going to take the entire graph, move it over to the origin, do our rotation using those nice rules that we have for rotating around the origin and then we are going to move that new image back by the same number of units that we we originally moved it right so in order to do this we're going to subtract the point of rotation off of each vertex point we're going to rotate around the origin and then we're going to add that point of rotation back and that's going to place the image where it should be rotating around the new point instead of rotating around the origin. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. So I have this graph ABC and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees around the point 2 comma 1. So here's the way that this one looks. Instead of me having my point okay, at the origin, my rotation point, I'm going to move over to 2 and up by 1 and I'm going to place it right here. And so what that means is that the circle, let me, see, let me get my little circle tool here, okay, my circle is actually now centered right here and I'm going to travel around this circle in some way. So these points are going to travel around this circle instead of traveling around the original one which was kind of centered over here at the origin. So by changing my center of rotation, I'm actually changing the circle that they're traveling around. Okay, and so here's what we're going to do. Let's pull our points off of the graph so we know what we're working with. It looks like I have an A value okay, of negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, negative 1. Okay? I have a B value. Okay? Oh, let me give myself some space here. We're going to need a little bit of space. Okay? B value of negative 3 and up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 3, 5. Okay? And I have a C value of... It looks like negative 1, comma 3. Negative 1, positive 3. Right, so what our rule here said was if we want to rotate this, let's subtract the point of rotation off of each vertex point for my shape. So let's start with that. So my point of, ro my, uh, point of rotation is 2, comma 1. So they're asking us to subtract 2 and subtract 1 from each of these points. And what's, what that's doing is it's kind of shifting the entire graph over two unit, I'm sorry, over two units to the left and down one unit, which is going to move my center of rotation to the origin. So here's why kind of like interim point, I'm not even going to call it A prime because it's not A prime yet, we haven't done our rotation. So if I do negative four minus two, I get negative six. Negative one minus one, I get uh, negative two, okay? And then I'm going to do that for each of these points. It looks like I get a, an interim point of negative five, four, and my C is going to go from go, go to negative 3, 2. Right, so again, that's just kind of taking all these points and sliding them to the left by 2 and down by 1 so that my center of origin, I'm sorry, my center of rotation can be at the origin. So we're going to perform our rotation algorithm on these points here, these ones that I've slid over and down. Okay? So if you remember the rule again that we had for a 90 degree turn, a 90 degree rotations. Uh, oh, I'm looking for it here. here it is. Okay, a 90 degree rotation is going to be a okay, switch of the sine of y and then swap the x and the y values. So that's the the algorithm that we're going to apply that we can apply now because now my center is at the origin. So I'm going to switch the sine of y, which would make this positive. Okay, so in this one I'm going to call oop, I'm going to call it a. Okay, call that a prime. Okay, so I'm going to say my a prime is going to be positive to Okay, negative 6. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to call this A prime yet. We have one more step left to do. So let me get rid of that. Okay. So this is kind of another interim step okay, where I'm going to take my, my point and do the rotation. Okay. So I, I did my algorithm where I, at, I put on, uh, or I switched X and Y and then flipped. Let's do it again on this new B value. Switch X and Y after I've changed the sign of Y. So this is going to become negative 4 negative 5, right? And I have one more rotation left to do. This is going to become negative 2, negative 3, okay? So now, to get back to my final step here, so that was my rotation as we would around the origin. I used my 90 degree rule, and I rotated around the origin, but now I got to move all my points back 
Okay, so I'm going to add in that 2 and that 1 that I took away at the beginning. So let's add 2 and add 1 to each of these points. Plus 2, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1, right? So now here's my final rotated points. This, which let me use another color here, this is my A prime. This looks like 4 and negative 5, okay? This one looks like negative 2 negative 4, and I'll call this one B prime finally, because I've done my rotation, okay, and then my C prime, I'm going to call it looks like 0, okay, and this looks like negative 2. So let's plot these points and see what it looks like. Okay, so my A prime is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be right here, that's A prime. Negative 2, negative 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, that would be this point. Okay, and C is at 0, negative 2, there's my C prime. So let's uh, graph or put a lines through these points and see what happens, okay? So again, the idea here is that we actually rotated around this point, not the original one. So let me see what happens, what it looks like when I draw a circle centered at this point right here, okay? Oh, it didn't work. Let's try again. Okay, centering at my point here. Let's see what happens being a pain to me one more time there it is okay so if you notice my original C traveled along that circle and it's still both of the points my original point and my uh, new I image point are both along the circle if I expand out so I can hit B both of my B values and my A values are also traveling along a circle that is centered at that point so if you notice I'm using that circle at 2 comma 1 or one, yeah, two comma one, and I'm traveling around circles that are centered at that point. But in order to get that, we kind of have to slide it over to the origin, do some work on it, you know, with our origin uh, rules, and then we got to slide it back so that it's centered where we would like it to be centered, right? So it's a little bit more work uh, to move it over before we do our origin rules, but it gets us to the same spot, right? We're able to see that this is now rotated around the point two comma one by ninety degrees.